I want to make it longer. <laughs> I think that's what everybody really wants. Is that real long real long intro song. Learn that from uh from Tom, Tom Segura. That's what's is your phone on silent? Yep. Okay, good man. All right, welcome guys. Welcome to another episode of Dipping Milk and Cookies. I'm Garrett. Across from me, as always, Mike. Hey. Um, how you doing, bud? Uh, you know I'm good. I'm mm-hmm. good. This is a uh, take three on this fucking episode, so <laughs> we don't gotta fucking say it, man. Oh, that's alright. It's the raw deal. Oh, yeah, it is the uh, raw deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, raw deal. this is technically our Christmas episode. We had some technical difficulties with the first original recording so we're doing it over again uh because it was that good it was that funny uh granted we also did eat (laughs) some fun stuff (laughs) beginning that's what made that episode so funny because there was a defining point where you could hear it in our voices Mm -hmm. (laughs) and there was a part too where you like leaned off the mic like it's working (laughs) (laughs) and like you can hear the slow decline of the both of us and then eventually it's like yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta wrap this. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. so funny, but uh, we're back again. We we'll figured we'd give it a, give it another go. Uh, so yeah, Christmas was fun. I had a, I had a really good time during Christmas. Um, my dad, myself, and my girlfriend Emily went to see Star Wars on Christmas Eve out at the Ridge. We uh, we had some drinks at Fazoli's uh, before the movie, which was at Zafiro's Zafiro's Zafoli's. So, so, you know, <laughs> come on, man. Was always. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> uh, so we were we were at uh, Zavoli's. <laughs> and we were having some drinks, and keep in mind the movie's at two forty-five, so it looks really funny. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and we're all just pounding drinks. My dad's drinking straight whiskey. Dude, that's I've done that day drink and gone oh, see yeah. the game. I've actually had my mom drop me off at the movies. <laughs> it was, dude, it was just when like Deadpool two or when the first Deadpool yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was the I think it was Guardians of the Galaxy came out. I had her hey, can you pick me up today? Sure, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go to the movies. Why don't you just drive? Some drunk. Then, <laughs> well, I'd stop at the gas station, get a little six or so, yeah, yeah. take it into the movies, get yeah. a big soda. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right in the morning. <laughs> it's so funny. You're fucking drunk. You just get my ass lit off in the up. Theater. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the funniest part because yeah, my dad, like I said, was drinking just straight whiskey, and he had two of them, like like four fingers, like cups of whiskey oh, yeah. on the rocks. He had two of those before we went into the theater, and then he took a third one into the theater. So you can actually take your drink into the yeah, theater. Yeah, really? yeah. They'll put it in a in a special cup, a plastic I don't cup. Think you're gonna give it to a kid. Mm-mm. I mean, yeah, it's a bold business you yeah, know, yeah. strategy, but I'm not saying Pete God really bless really. him, God bless yeah. him for sure, because that was clutch. Because uh, yeah, we all went in with drinks, but uh, it was really funny because we sat down and um, my dad is you know reasonably lit up because we were planning on eating dinner after the movie, so like we're we're all hungry and we're all drinking, so my dad's feeling loose, feeling good, and there was a. <laughs> There was a chick sitting next to him that had, I shit you not, a pizza, like a large pizza, just clutched in her lap. She wasn't letting that go. Uh, a large popcorn, a small popcorn, two fucking sodas in each cup holder, like one in each cup holder, and then like a stack of candy, like four boxes of candy. I wonder how many trips she made. <laughs> no, that was probably one trip. That was probably one $150 trip. <laughs> but like, dude... But there was like there, it must have been like a group trip or something like that, because there was uh, a few of them. You know what I mean? Uh, it was just uh, a TikTok kind of crowd. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> and like my dad, being slightly shiny, starts fucking talking. But he's like he's talking in his voice in the middle <laughs> of the theater. Like the previews are playing, and everybody's like trying to watch previews. And he's just like, "Holy shit!" He's got. A small popcorn and a big popcorn. I'm like, God damn, Dad, shut shut up, man. Quit keep it down. If you could reach it over and grab the piece of pizza. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't need all of this. A, hand, a handful of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't put it past him at that point. I really wouldn't for sure. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. Great movie. I mean, well, I won't say great movie. Star Wars, it ended cheesy as fuck for everybody who has seen Star Wars. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, won't be any spoilers. But 
I mean, the movie's been out for a little bit now. If you haven't seen it, yeah, it sucks for you. But either way, um, movie did. <laughs> I only say that because Mike hasn't seen it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was a good movie. It ended, like I said, very cheesy. But uh, it was entertaining. It was very entertaining. It was very entertaining. It was really funny, too, because <laughs> we had been drinking, so it was just like, fuck, I got to go to the bathroom. My dad was the first to, to, to give in because he didn't give a fuck. He, yeah, Star Wars, which one is this? <laughs> he didn't give a shit. So he's, he went to the bathroom first, and then, like, Emily, I could see it. Like, you could see her foot just, like, fluttering because she was trying to, like, fight it off. But we're on the same, like, sofa thing. So it's just like, babe, go to the bathroom. She's just like, I don't want to get up. I don't want to miss anything. I'm just like, if the more you talk about it right now, the more likely chance you're going to miss something. Just go right now. Go, go, go. So she just, she takes off to go to the bathroom. And literally, as soon as she leaves the fucking theater, something significant happened. <laughs> and it was so funny because when she came back, they were like, it had moved past that, obviously. And then there was a couple other characters that were talking about what had just happened. And she was just like, what, what the fuck? What just happened? What did I just miss? And I was just like, oh, yeah, you missed this. And she was just like, no. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. I didn't cave, though, man. I didn't pee. I had to watch that whole thing. I got fucking iron bladder. <coughs> That's really bad for your prostate, though. I'm sure I'm going to pay for that later. <coughs> I do it all the time, man. I always hold my piss. Yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad to do. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because it'll enlarge your prostate, and but it'll you make jerk it off a lot. It keeps it small. So, <laughs> well, I guess that's it's... that balance. <laughs> Life is balance, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, still, you shouldn't do that. Go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom. That was one thing. Mark, Mark ironically enough, the Colonel man. <laughs> I really like the fact that everybody's dad has like a weird nick- <laughs> nickname. <laughs> like Marcus is, we call Marcus's dad the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, when. Marcus and Radish and the Colonel came down to Illinois with me or, uh, to visit me for open air. I remember him saying that when one night after the show, we were back at the apartment drinking, and I was just like, God damn, I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. I've been holding this forever. He's just like, If there's one thing you can take from an old man, don't hold your peace, son. It's <laughs> <laughs> just so like, What? He's just like, Trust me, you don't want to, you don't want a goddamn prostate the size of a softball. <laughs> Makes it really difficult to pee later when you get old like me. <laughs> just like, God damn, Tony. Like, that's fucking hardcore. He's just like, and you're still standing here. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. I gotta go pee. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, that was Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, me and Emily went up with my mom and Debbie and her fiance, Cy, uh, to my grandma's house. And we just sat around and had some really good laughs. Gave my mom some gummies. She ate one immediately because she was fucking fiending out because she threw her back out that was that was a funny phone call going to get him she calls me just like oh my god I care. my back hurts so bad oh god it hurts so bad i'm just like mom i'm going literally right now i'm on the highway right now to go get that shit so it'll be fine you'll have okay okay <laughs> like just like hearing the, the straight like change of tone of voice as soon as i was like i'm on my way they'll be there tomorrow she, oh thank god <laughs> uh, and then she pepped right up just like okay all right well i'll let you get off the phone then uh, <laughs> safe ride uh, uh that woman but yeah it was funny she ate one and i s- got to watch it slowly kick in and take hold of my mom and <laughs> she's such a fucking goon it's so funny like i said before her eyes like you could just walk up and like <laughs> just shatter into a thousand pieces because she was just like yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Christmas was cool for me. How about you, my friend? I've been talking too much. Too I too. was sick. I had gotten the oh, yeah, that's like right. flu that's on right. Christmas Eve morning. Mm-hmm. And so all day I had to stay in bed. And then... You said that was Christmas Eve morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yep, and then all day. And then we went to Jenny's parents' house uh, for you know presents and stuff. And mm-hmm. I just like sat on the steps and... In the dark, <laughs> looking like a fucking gargoyle, just leave me, in the shadows. leave yep. me be. Yep. Phantom of the Opera, just <laughs> off in the back, like a fucking weirdo. Right, right, right. But yeah, man, I was not feeling well, then went home, and then uh, didn't sleep very much. Got up Christmas Day, did the present thing with the kids, stay in pajamas all day, and just put their shit together, and. and <laughs> 
<laughs> what, did, what did you have to put together, Mike? Dude, this fucking dollhouse, man. It's like five feet tall. <laughs> and it's all wood, but it's not like super sturdy wood. It's uh-huh. toy wood. Uh-huh. So it's just yeah, that fucking weak. Packed wood. And man. putting it together, it took like five hours to fucking do. <laughs> it, Why did it take five hours to put together? Because <laughs> it just kept fucking wanting to fall in on itself, man. I was, you had to put like a brace up, and then you got to turn it on its side, and then you got to put this in, and then stuff just like lines up. It, it's like particle board that you gotta slide in these little slits and mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. super thin and everything is just really flimsy and it's you know for kids to, it's just a dollhouse but it's absolutely the fucking the worst, worst <laughs> the worst and Keith said to me when we were leaving he's just like sorry, yeah, sorry man <laughs> I wouldn't have bought it if it was easy huh like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right yeah that's another big variable that you're not taking into consideration yeah dude it was Keith bad. saw that was just like oh yeah hell yeah get him that shit yeah. I'm sure he's gonna love having to put that together yeah. <laughs> fucking Keith he thought it was funny <laughs> and I'm sure I'm sure too you were probably like fucking just like where the fuck is that fucking goddamn thing Jenny, I was yeah, just like, like I how found the fuck did your parents buy this this is the stupidest <laughs> fu- hope it fucking breaks screw, it's gonna fucking, fucking break in a week Keith and Don God saying damn. all that shit <laughs> stupid fucking dog yeah was, but then what did you say as soon as it was done that wasn't so bad <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, so bad. That's easy. He's yeah, after, after you're it's done, you're looking at it, and you're mm-hmm. just like, well. Just got to know what hardware goes where. That's all Like, really if someone is. brought me another one, I, two hours. Two hours. Tops. Yeah. Tops. It's done. Tops. No instructions. I don't need them shits. No. <laughs> but no, that first one, man, it's just like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. That's all you can think to yourself mm-hmm. when you're putting it together, and you're doing it, and you're watching your little kid come by, and she's just getting happier and happier as each each like little hour of progress comes through she's just like it's working it's so cool mm-hmm. i'm so happy mm-hmm. dad i love you and i'm just like mm-hmm. how's the pup doing oh it's a fucking asshole <laughs> that's the one thing i didn't ask the other time we did yeah. this mm-hmm. how's the pup dad of the year <laughs> uh, dude it's, well it's a puppy you know so obviously it's fucking gonna have its you know issues and this is the first puppy that i've ever had to like raise you know it's way better had, it's way better to do it that way we had lady that was already kind of older we got star lord when he was older all of our cats have been older so like i've raised kids but like you can talk to them and like when you yell at them they understand somewhat when you yell at an animal they're just like huh but see that's the beautiful thing that's the beautiful thing and I'll, i've just truth be told full disclosure i've been like balls deep in the dog whisper as of late they're just energy you know that calm calm what is it calm sort of energies <laughs> like that's all it is man like translating good vibes to the dog and the dog will respond to it for sure yeah but i know it's obviously a lot easier said than done yeah especially with a puppy it's just training them just potty well, training it's a fucking them. little chihuahua yeah that's that's actually probably it's the potty training thing that you know she's got to work on but i think a lot of it too is yeah, like i said she's got to work <laughs> she she eats a lot like and we we give her just her little bit and i always like right now i just thinking about it i didn't pick up the cat food dish so i know this fucking dog sitting around around just eating cat food and stuff and like yeah. when we put it on the bed and it like sits it's got a gut man it's fucking fat already and well that's that's no that's puppy weight oh yeah they always so. they always look Otherwise, fat. it's gonna be the, like a fucking fat little ball of cheeseburgers don't fucking give them the don't give her the star lord treatment she doesn't she okay. doesn't get that shit all right she hasn't good. even earned that good well again she's still a pup she's still very very young yeah uh, i mean she chews on shit she she fucks with the cats all the time mm-hmm. um, good that's good the cats uh one of them will play with her um the other ones are probably like get away from me yeah the other two they definitely check her ass all the time <laughs> Because they know they're bigger, and yeah, 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 they will just they'll fucking that shit's so funny to watch. It is. It it's is. so funny because like I have like the exact opposite. Like mm-hmm. I got this kitten and Gertie, you know, and Gertie is just 
Gertie's Gertie, and she's always wanting to be friends with everybody. And little Kitty is little Kitty, and she's just like, I'm still figuring shit out. You look like fun to fuck with, and watching them go back and forth is it's hilarious. It's adorable. Mm-hmm. It really is. But yeah, uh, the potty training. That's always the toughest yeah. part with a with a new dog, especially a little pup, um, is the potty training. But once you get that down, yeah, I know, I know. And it, like I said, it, it's only a puppy it's not even well it's probably like three months old now Mm -hmm. so i know it's gonna take time and should fucking train that dog to ring the goddamn bell when it wants to go outside it's perfect you have a puppy it's a perfect time to do that there's a lot of right there sorry about that (laughs) uh yeah train like you fucking install a little jingle bell right by the front door low enough for the dog can fucking tap it with its foot Every time I want to go outside, you associate that bell with going out the door. Is this what your buddy Caesar Milan told you to do? Dude, I've seen that. Bef- I I mean, yeah, I did see that in an episode. Mm-hmm. But I've seen that. That was in a scary movie. That was in The Conjuring 2. Uh, their dog could do that shit. When it wants to go outside, it goes and just fucking rings the bell. Do you think I want to dig around with that shit? No, but do I think you want a well-trained dog to the point where you don't have to be like, where do you want to go outside? And the dog will just be like, bling, I have to shit now. Oh, all right, cool. (laughs) 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 I'm just food for thought, man. (laughs) Food for thought, man. Yeah, I mean, that is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, though. It really is a lot of work. If I didn't have, if Lincoln was old, maybe like the next puppy. It'd be easier to do because, mm-hmm. like, you, yeah, you have Lincoln's a, but, been really needy too lately, yeah, which has yeah. kind of been a pain. Yeah, that's also what's been kind of getting to me is like, because like Jenny or my mom, like they can they can sue them pretty quickly, you know, and mm-hmm. and then when I try, it just doesn't always work out, and then I become frustrated because it's like, well, what is it that I'm not doing that everyone else is doing, and but then it's just, you know, it's just me because I'm a, being a dad, and it's it's tough fucking figure out a baby uh but it's okay like with you know this guy and jaylene they can tell me what's up but like the little well yeah one, like, he can't yet yeah not yet yeah <clears throat> i can imagine that is uh rather difficult for sure for sure yeah but you know it's part of uh part of being a parent i suppose yeah but Get like through already it. lincoln's like six months old almost you know so it's like all right figure well, let me ask you this: When Jay, how old was Jaylene when she started to really like coherently come around? You know what I mean? Uh, Where, like she understood that, like even though she's obviously a baby and she can't talk, yeah, but she still understood, like, okay, this is time to eat. Like that's why I get fussy right now because motherfucker, I'm supposed to be eating something. Probably, I uh, see. This is now where I'm supposed to be getting my ass wiped, and now this is when I take my nap, kind of thing. Like, even though they can't talk. Just... Oh, you're talking about, like, as a baby, like, when she kind of understood she had a schedule? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, probably somewhere around, like, that mm, nine months to 12 months range. Yeah, it's nine months to a year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then it was even, like, shortly after that, then, like, yeah, she did have that schedule. Because I think she was, she was going to daycare. Mm-hmm. So she was on a schedule pretty much, like, right around then. Um I don't think she went right away, but I could be wrong. I remember. Yeah. But even still, yeah, I mean, for him, I would say probably by springtime because, well, his birthday is already going to be in July. So it's like we're coming up here on January. Mm-hmm. So in that seven months when he's going to be a year, That's like crazy. I expect him to already kind of be walking and doing some things because he's already kind of doing it. Like when he's in his chair, I'll put my fingers out and he'll grab onto him and then like he'll pull and I'll just like slowly pull him up and then he slides his legs down so like he'll stand up. Mm-hmm. So we're working on like standing the up. The dexterity of mm-hmm. like standing up, yeah. And uh, his, like him sitting up and like all this stuff and I work his leg muscles all the time. Like he'll, uh, we'll do this thing where I'll just lay on my back and he'll just like stand and you can feel like him Trying using to... his feet and keep it balanced because like it's on my chest so I can feel his, his mm-hmm. weight change. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, man, dude, if you can, if you can start standing and doing all these things at such a young age, 
What I sport start is it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> you start training, like we'll you see you those little fucking like, like six six year old kids with like six packs yep. and shit. Yep. Oh, Lincoln's already such a chunk. He's just going to be like this massive meatball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This fucking I don't know why I just feel like he's gonna be like he's gonna be cause like your dad's not that tall you know me and you are roughly the same height uh, I just I imagine him being like and especially if you're talking about like training and like really keeping him in shape and everything like that like I just imagine him growing up and just looking like Wolverine <laughs> just like a little hamster that's just like re- just ready to fucking rip your fucking face off <laughs> his dad told me not to take no shit <laughs> you hear me he's coming in and punking out everybody right, right. taking the remote from people right, right. goddamn remote snatching <laughs> My goddamn remote. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. But it's of. funny because Jaylene does that and she's only four and she's just a tiny little girl. So mm-hmm. she, she runs that shit. Mm-hmm. And her Lincoln to come in. Oh uh, yeah. See the way I picture this to go as the kids get older is Jaylene's not gonna be very big. She's gonna be like the the brains. Mm-hmm. And then I just think that the two boys are going to be tall, like, because my grandpa, uh, my dad's dad, he was tall. Jenny's dad's tall. Her whole, uh, and his brothers are all tall. Mm -hmm. So, like, there is, like, the tallness in our families, but we didn't get it. Yeah. So, I'm hoping that that both the kids did, because Zakai is already taller than me. So, yeah, Zakai is going to be big. I have a feeling he's going to get fucking big, too. I have a feeling Zakai is going to get fucking Lurch. six foot six foot at least yeah, for sure because if i mean he's taller than us mm-hmm. essentially he's Dude, at least eye level because i mean you're you're maybe like an inch shorter than you how tall are you i'm 510 uh like five six five seven yeah okay so um so yeah if he's already taller than you he's like eye level with me and he's only 13 not even 13 yeah. Uh yeah, I'm sure he hasn't even. But then again, that could be his girl spurt, because the guy always was. Giannis fucking when he got drafted, he kept growing. Did he really? Yeah, dude. Like his rookie year, well, we'll say it was like six ten, uh-huh. and then like the next year he was like six eleven or something, six twelve, whatever, Jesus Christ. six twelve, <laughs> seven <laughs> foot. <laughs> read, ah, a, read a book, book dude. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I caught it right away though. Six, I was like six, I mean seven foot. What the yeah, fuck? yeah, yeah. <laughs> seven. I foot. caught it though. I fucking caught that right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, but yeah, no, I I feel like Zakaya, he probably will grow up to be a fucking biggin. Good, I hope so. Which I yeah, whatever, dude. Fucking play basketball, kid. Do something. Do something. Do something. He wants to be, uh, like. YouTube the, star, the Twitch gamers, mm-hmm. to be like that. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, you have to have good grades first before I really like. Like I told him, I was like, dude, you know, I buy stupid shit all the time for you, so like, get some good grades. I'll get you your shit that you need, so you can do it. That's mm-hmm. expensive. It's very expensive. Well, he wants to start with YouTube and just like streaming his games on Fortnite that he plays through like the PS4, or whatever. And I'm like, that's fine. Mm-hmm. I'll get you your own PS4 and your own mm-hmm. TV. Mm-hmm. A laptop. That's all he would need to get started to yeah, stream his shit. Essentially. And well, no, actually, you should be able to just do it straight through your, console, your platform. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. But he wants to do but that. But to do the like, Twitch, yeah. to do the yeah. Twitch Twitch streaming, you need the laptop. You need yeah, the microphone yeah. and all that shit. Which, I, yeah, I mean, fuck, that's cool. At least the kid has some sort of an idea of what he wants to do. And, I mean, I like, who's to say... In this day and age, like you can't do that. You're not well, going to yeah, make money off of it. But they have like, esports all of, like on ESPN. They show the mm-hmm, fucking shit, mm-hmm. and they even show like drone racing as a dude. Thing now. Fucking Mateo from CMP. Yeah, uh, dude used to. Fuck, I mean, he, I'm sure he still does, but like I'm pretty positive. The last time I checked, he was like the one of the top ten Tekken players on like the planet, going to Vegas to play in these huge like two hundred fifty thousand dollar fucking gaming tournaments and shit, and winning them. Winning that, yeah, it's nuts. like Mateo is Mateo is such a boss, dude. And I hope and pray one day that fucking Mateo listens to this. I, I'm sure he probably doesn't, but uh, but yeah, dude, Mateo has always been one of my favorite people on this planet because the dude is a boss. He's so funny. His trolling game is like 
next generation, next level. Like it, you cannot get anything by him. And not only can you not get anything by him, but if you try, you just threw yourself into crosshairs. I hope you're ready to cry because <laughs> he's going for the fucking jugular every time. And he's just a cool dude. Like used to be like a semi-pro fucking poker player and shit. We used to run into him every once in a while at Pato. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the fucking professional video game player. Like he was lined up to go to the NBA out of college, but he fucking blew out his knee, which sucks. Because I'm sure if he hadn't done that, he'd probably still be playing in the league right now, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, he's a big, tall fucker. And it's it's that dude legit. Mateo, what's up? Listen to the fucking podcast. Um, I don't even know how we started talking about Mateo now. Uh, I think talk basketball, tall players, something, something, something like that. Right, who cares? Let's move on. Um, so Christmas was all right. You were you were sick. That buffed <laughs> yeah. out. You're fine. Uh, what happened after Christmas though? I'm pretty sure it was like the day after Christmas. Uh, Lincoln. No, that was that day. That was Christmas Eve morning. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because, yeah, that's Jenny right. had left for work, and I had, like, just woke up, and I wasn't feeling good, and I <laughs> put him in his chair, and I was getting everybody else situated, and then all of a sudden it just smelled, and then I realized that he shit. This is the best and story. And then when I was trying to change him, it was just fucking horrible because there was so much shit. It got all up his back, and then it fucking got out of my bed because he started moving around, and because he could feel it sticking to him, so he was like trying to slide. So it got all over my bed. Oh god! So then there was this shit smear on my bed. Oh, so I god. finally got the diaper cleaned up and him cleaned up, and I thought I got him cleaned up, but then he like when I set him down, he left like an imprint of poop on my bed again. Wrong. And then he fucking as I moved him to the side, he rolled into it with his legs. Oh. So like he just kept rolling into it. Oh, stamping shit all over my bed. <laughs> it was just, and dude, like I said, I didn't fucking feel good. I was, I had like at that time, I already had like a hundred point something fucking fever. So I'm just oh. aching, feeling like crap, and then this kid oh, just fucking just weighing, smearing shit everywhere, pounds, picking a man up, <laughs> fucking shit everywhere. Fuck, Fuck life, right yeah, now. dude. Well, Mike, you made it out alive. Yeah. <laughs> You're a better man than I. Oh, I fucking was not happy, that's for sure. Oh, that's so funny. I can just imagine you just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I put you down for a second. And I just washed my hands. <laughs> the fact that you kept going back to wash your hands and then coming back. <laughs> There's just more shit. Just where does it keep coming from? <laughs> Yeah, dude, it, it is oh, not fun. Because I mean, it's funny oh. that like after the fact, you're just like you can laugh about it. Yeah, of course. Happening, you're like, this yeah, is the, this, this is, is absolutely literally, this, this literally the worst, yep. the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it feels. Oh, that's so funny. Because then when I tell Jenny about it, and she, I know she's telling me, she's just like, "Oh, I'm sorry, babe, that you know you're not feeling good, and you gotta go through that." But in her mind, I know she's thinking, like, good, you fucking deserve that, you piece of shit, for all the times you fucking yeah. aren't home and I gotta deal with this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, yeah. And, then just, and then I'm getting her text thinking, it's like, oh, she actually really cares. But then in my mind, I know she's thinking that same thing. She's like, she doesn't give a hey, fuck. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> oh, man. Is it Kyle K? Kyle K. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, we can move on then. I just wanted to touch back on that because that was fucking hilarious when I heard that it was originally. A day. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, I did want to talk about the band a little bit coming into the new year. Some of our plans. We've got uh, a new album we're planning. We're going to be in the studio in April to do that. Uh, we're going to be doing a new video, but like an actual music video. Uh, like I'm not saying that the video that we did with our buddy Bijou isn't an actual music video because it most definitely is, and it was actually surprisingly well done for what we paid. So uh, shout out to Bijou, uh, Mr. Milwaukee himself. I know eventually we'll have him on the podcast, um, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a new video where we're actually gonna like write a story out and like have extras and really put in some real production value. Um, we're going to do new photos. We're going to do new photos. Actually, I actually, I, I actually talked to Alex, uh, over at Axel Strat. What up, Alex? Um, about doing it. We're all going to do it basically on one day. 
It's going to be the band shots, the podcast shots, and Emily's going to do, <laughs> it's so funny, Emily wants to do cheesy portraits with, with Gertie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be adorable, but uh, but we're going to do it all Wait, on one day. Here? No, 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 just her and, just her and Gertie. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but she wants to do it. She's been talking about doing it forever. And I'm just like, babe, just tell me, just give me the green light. I've got the guy. <laughs> like, I'll get it set up like tomorrow. Um, so I've been talking to, talking to Alex, which guys do us a favor. You listen to the episode, go to Axel Strat, uh, LLC on Facebook, like, and share the page. Uh, Alex Weber does really, really, really fantastic work with, uh, with that DSLR camera of his, um, he's done, the band's the band's first promo shots. The podcast first promo shots. Um, he's gonna be doing obviously the next promo shots. He's he's our photographer, like uh, officially unofficially. I will always always call Alex first or message him first because he's not only super super professional, uh, but he's really really fair with his prices and whatnot. So uh, so again, Axel Strat LLC. Swing by the Facebook page, like, share. Rate, review, subscribe. <laughs> uh, that would be that'd be pretty cool. Uh, while you're at it, you know what? While we're doing some shameless plugs here, um, why don't you guys swing over to zerobudgetrecords.com as well? Check out the website. That's the uh, the label that the band I'm in is under. Uh, they're they're out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, really, really great label. They've been around for quite some time. Pretty sure there's over 20 bands on the label right now all really really good metal um go check it out zerobudgetrecords.com you can buy the albums you can buy merch they just did a huge update of the website um so definitely go check that out um who else who else i just don't want to forget might as well get this done now um zero budget 1459 Studios, that's where we're actually recording our album. And it's going to be super cool because they just moved the studio to a newer spot, which uh, is going to be exciting to see because I know Will, our our producer, our, our sound engineer, he, uh, he's he been planning that for quite some time. And, excuse me. Now it's actually, mm-hmm. now it's actually done. So that'll be fun to do that. Uh, again, go to 1459 Studios on Facebook. Like and share, do that as well. Um, but yeah, the band stuff's going to be a lot of fun. I'm in the process right now of writing the the next EP. It's going to be a six track EP. We're halfway home. We got three of the six done, uh, but we're kind of on crunch time. <laughs> I was just talking about this a second ago. Mm-hmm. Definitely need to uh, need to double the efforts there. <coughs> but but yeah, 2020 is going to be a really exciting year for Reflection of Flesh. Oh duh! Uh, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys haven't already, go to Reflection of Flesh on Facebook, uh, like and share the page. Definitely much appreciated. Got to support, support as much as you can, especially if it's free, guys. It's not going to take you anything more than thirty seconds to to go to the page and like and share, and that really does help us in the long run. So uh, make sure you do that. Uh, look out for us in twenty twenty, man. We got some pretty big stuff planned already. We're hopefully going to be making some pretty big moves with the label uh as far as promoting the next album which is going to be new for us but needs to happen most definitely um but yeah keep an eye out keep an ear out because we're only going to be playing a few shows locally this year that's the one thing we definitely learned from last year is we cannot oversaturate the home market so we only have like two or three milwaukee shows aside from Summerfest, which i don't know if we're playing again to be honest we probably will, but I don't know if we are. Either way, um, we're only going to play a couple times in, in Milwaukee, so it'd be really cool if you guys came out. I tell you what, anybody who comes out to the show, uh, you mention the podcast, I'll give you an album. I'll give you an album of your choice. You can pick either the full length or the newest EP that we just released. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Everybody likes free stuff. But I'll get you in the door. <laughs> But I already got your money. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, interviews. That interview with Pistol. That was something else. That was fun. I keep seeing too. Like I'm checking the uh, checking the numbers on Spotify and whatnot. Also go to Spotify. Listen to the podcast on Spotify. Um, 
the numbers for that episode are pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. That one and, um, for whatever reason, episode seven. That one's still a fan favorite. <coughs> that one always has the most amount of downloads or streams. But it is nice to see that everybody is still participating and that we do have some some faithful listeners that have been sticking with us week to week. Obviously, guys, the holidays have been kind of fucking with us as far as our release dates and everything like that. I assure you, once we get back into the new year, um, or once we get into the new year, uh, we'll get back on the schedule. Uh, the work rotation thing messed us up for a minute. Obviously, Thanksgiving messed us up for a minute. Christmas, now New Year's. Obviously, uh, once we get past all of it, we'll get back to every Monday. It'll be Monday night now because I don't get out of work until 7. So I'm not home until about 7.30. So I won't be able to upload it until around 8. But either way, Monday nights, you can expect a new episode of Dipping Milk in Cookies. Um, But yeah, the interviews. Interviews, interviews. We want to start doing more. And I'm thinking the next interview that we do is going to be with Phil from the band it's really funny now everybody in the band's kind of listening to it now how chris and phil kind of fought over who's gonna be on the podcast first i thought that was cute rochambeau play it do it two out of three whoever wins just do it and then phil won all right phil you get to be on the podcast first which is gonna be fun because i remember writing down the note and Mm -hmm. hearing half of the story at practice about how he stole a llama from a zoo when he was out playing shows if that's not fucking rock and roll, I don't know what is. So that'll be fun to get into. Hopefully we'll do that within the, the next couple of weeks. Again, holidays. That's why I fucking hate the holidays, man. It always fucks everything up, man. Everything. Um, Yeah. You got anything else you want to add? Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. What does that mean? There's nothing in particular that I was thinking about. What do you think of those Packers? Um, <laughs> you guys, you just missed the the, the most eye rolliest of eye rolls. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'd like to see him go somewhere, but yeah. I just, I don't know. They're going to get knocked out real quick. I saw a meme today. It was of the Pirates of the Caribbean. It was a scene where uh, Commodore is talking to Jack Sparrow, and he goes... <laughs> You're the worst bunch of thirteen and three players I've ever seen, <laughs> and then it goes Jack Sparrow, but it's like, but we are, but we are thirteen and three. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh fuck, that's so true. I yeah. was saying that because, like, dude, I was at work. I had, I had fucking, I was watching it on my phone, with my little ear, my wireless earbud. I'm watching the game, and like, the first half obviously was just a joke. Just Detroit was walking all over us, mm-hmm. making us look silly. Just silly as fuck. And I remember talking to Dan. He's just like, what's the score right now? And I'm like, 17 to 3, Detroit. And he's just like, fuck. Oh, man, we're going to lose. And I was just like, no, 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 no. You, got, you forget the paradigm of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. It's either they come out hot and heavy in the first half, and then they just suck it up the second half, or vice versa. They suck it up the first half. Aaron Rodgers goes into that locker room. He's just like motherfuckers better start catching these goddamn balls. Otherwise, we You're don't have problems. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly, is exactly. And then sure as shit, they come out second half, they line them up. So. Yeah, he's going to line them up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, man, I can say that depending, uh, yeah, depending on how this weekend plays out, obviously, and who we got next, mm-hmm. um, it's... I don't know. Everybody that's in the playoffs right now deserves to be there, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like, fuck. All man. the other teams that are up there, like, they've been playing like they want the playoffs, but the Packers have just been, like, limping across the finish line, kind of. But, you know, it's almost like, uh, did they do that? Because there's been plenty of games where, like, you said they start off really hot and then they take their feet off the gas and mm-hmm. it's kind of like, mm, close through the rest of the game. Mm hmm. I don't know if they did that intentionally to kind of like save some energy for the playoffs, the postseason, yeah. because they are relatively pretty Give, healthy. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, that's so, the big thing. There's like, a lot of for players. These players to be pretty healthy. A lot of players out. Just <clears throat> ready to go. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And all their games are going to be at Lambeau for now. Yeah, we got the first week by and, and home field advantage. At home field at, until at least the NFC Championship game. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, I could, I honestly mean, I could see us being in the championship for sure. Sure. Um, and I, I just want it to be known right now, though, that I do really think Green Bay can get to the Super Bowl. And I think why it's going to happen is because of a comment that was made earlier in the season by Rodgers when they were playing San Francisco and he said that we have to beat them at least once in their house. So when we went there and we got our asses kicked, and then if we have to go play there in the NFC Championship game, we're gonna smack them gonna, around. They're gonna win, and then it's gonna come back to that comment he said that we had to beat them at least once in their house. So then mm-hmm. they do, and then Green Bay has that trip down to Miami then as NFC North or NFC Championship, mm-hmm. and then who they play? Rogers just walking in the door, just like. Yeah, you know, it's just like when he did the whole relax, relax thing. Relax, relax. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, is like as much as I hate to admit it, because from what I understand, Aaron Rodgers is actually kind of a dickhead. He's kind of arrogant. I'm sure, but, I mean, but you're good. But yeah, yeah, dude, when you're that good, yeah, you get you kind of kind of get to walk the walk. But it's just like <laughs> that fucking guy. Um, I totally just lost my train of thought. Oh man. Well, I can tell you though that in that Detroit game. <sighs> Some of those passes that he made under pressure and on the run, oh they looked like some vintage Rodgers, and it made me feel like if he can play like that, he doesn't have to play like that the whole game, but if he can still have those flashes throughout the game yeah. where it's just like get the lead and then just maintain it, yeah. and then, yeah, okay, yeah. you get in trouble. Like yeah. that uh, little screen pass to Aaron Jones. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought he threw it at the ground, mm-hmm. but Aaron Jones was a little right black there, dude. Right. Yep, right, got it, got it. Yeah, and took off. It was like a 30-yard play. Yeah, that play really, like, Changed a lot of stuff. That yeah, was in a the good game. swing. It was just like, wow. I remember what I was going to say, uh, just with him saying that, like, relax, relax. Just knowing that you're that much of a boss at what you do, where like people are throwing all of this negative bullshit at you, that you can literally in that moment, even in that moment of defeat, be like, chill the fuck out. I got this. All right. right. Like, just fucking relax. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And now, like you said, now with this comment, just like, yeah, we got to beat him in their house at least once. They got slapped around, you know, when they went the first time. But, yeah, now watch. They're going to do it again. They're going to show up, and they're going to take a shit in their front yard. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Yep. Dude, yeah, that's a good prediction. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, hopefully they do it, man. I'd love to see the Packers win the Super Bowl again. I've gotten to see it twice in my lifetime. I think Rodgers really needs to win this one, though. Yeah, to really really stay relevant. Put him on that next level of the tier legacy yeah i mean yeah. he's got some fantastic numbers yeah but this team like they should have had more championships there's been multiple seasons where this fell short so many times it was always injury though it was for the most part injury that just completely destabilized yeah and the fact that mccarthy was a fat fucking retard uh the, it was always injury it was always injury that yeah. was crippling our team yeah, I mean, he got hurt a couple times too over the last few years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that the collarbone break. Yeah, the fucking his that leg was big. And... That was really big. Yeah, I remember that so much. It's so funny too. During it's so great. That's the one thing I do love about Facebook is like they'll do the your memories mm-hmm. and it's just like you'll see for like five years ago you look what you were saying and shit. And just like all this stupid shit that I would say about like oh yeah you know you take you oh what is it. You might be able to take players out of our, or you might be able to take out our quarterback for the season, but at least we'll take you out of the fucking playoffs, <laughs> kind of shit. Like just stupid, That's just funny. stupid shit. It is funny. It is really funny. That's one thing I really do like about Facebook. Even though Facebook can fuck off. I've been feeling that again, dude. Too seriously, man. Just, like, Honestly, I kind of like. I, obviously, I have to keep it. I have to keep the the podcast page up just because we're not stupid right. but at the same time it's almost like i don't want to do facebook anymore and i just want to ex- exclusively stick to instagram but it's just like dude i keep saying like follow us on instagram we don't have any fucking posts on instagram <laughs> or anything, we don't have anything on instagram except for like a picture and like a picture of us on spotify that's it yeah. that's one thing i gotta do i don't have any pictures on my personal instagram page like i don't use instagram like that ever which I, I really want to try to switch to because, like, you can still link everything to Facebook through mm-hmm. Instagram. So that's one thing I'm probably going to have to start doing soon because, yeah, Facebook, it's just becoming it's, it's just becoming too bullshit. negative. It's a lot of negative bullshit. Exactly. It's a lot of negative, mindless bullshit. And, like, don't get me wrong. The memes on Facebook are just bar none the best. But that's, that's where I'm finding myself, like, using Facebook more so for is just... Uh, 
finding goofy videos on on Facebook. I mean, uh, goofy memes and gifs and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like when I see stories, like the clickbait shit that they're trying to get you to read, and like it's yeah, Jesus no, Christ, know. it's fucking bad. It's really bad. I've been finding myself scrolling and then just like just scrolling because it's just like there's just like nothing good to read anymore. Like mm-hmm. I used to find decent stuff like articles to read, but it's just like now it's crap it's all it's all negative i just don't even yeah i think i'm gonna take off my phone again it's all negative man well i like i said make sure you keep your dipping milk and cookies yeah no i I can take it off the app off my phone i can just go on through the browser and do it just do what i need to do. yeah 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 but i don't know let's see i'll probably keep it on it for a little while yet Mm because it's I mean, there's still times where it's something funny. I see funny shit all mm-hmm. the time. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's so all hard. it's for. <laughs> like, for me, personally, it's like I just see goofy, just inappropriate shit all the time. And that that I do enjoy. That makes me laugh. That makes me laugh for sure. But, yeah, I don't know. Facebook's just... It's... Boring. Yeah, man. And it's creepy, too, when you get those ads when you're just, like, talking about something with somebody. And then all of a sudden, it's just, like, the next time you scroll up, it's, like, the, the ads right there about what you were just talking about. Like, Oh, it's on. because of all those apps that we download that say, oh, such and such would like access to your microphone. And yeah. And you say, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, um, yeah, right. Big brother, man. They're always there. That's why everybody always freaks out. Just like, well, I don't want, I don't want an election in my house. And it's just like, dude, you have a fucking smartphone in your pocket. Like, what do you think that is? It's an even more sophisticated Alexa. <laughs> like, get the Basically, fuck out of yeah. here. Like, that's why I... Fuck it. Give me an Alexa for every room of the house. I don't give a shit. <laughs> give me the cameras. I'll put them up in the corners. Whatever. I want to watch that shit, too. See what the fuck's going on in my house. Like, I don't care. You want to watch me jerk off? Okay. Like, that's kind of weird. I always think that's, that's funny weird. that those memes that you see on Facebook, too, about that. It's like when the government hacks my camera and all they know is the me jerking off. It's yeah, like it's that just... picture of Patrick just looking at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or it's like just a picture imagine, of a fat dude with a double you know, chin. I was just going to say, it's like this. That's all you're seeing. It's just like a... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a horrible job, man. You know, fucking, they... fucking watch all that shit. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Get real. <laughs> you fuck, get real. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. That's funny. Well, um, we're going to wrap this up. This is actually the longest episode yet. Almost an hour. Tight. Yeah. Um, guys, do us a favor. Hopefully, the background, the outro music will work this time. If I do everything right, it should be playing right now as we speak. Um, but uh, do us a favor. Again, facebook.com slash dipping milk and cookies. Go like, share, rate, review. Um, make sure you guys go to Spotify. Uh, listen to us there. You can find it there. You can find it on podbean.com as well. Um, yeah. Yep. Did you know? Well, that's all right. Progress, man. Yep. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, Until next week, we will see you later. Thanks for listening. Love you, buddy. Love you, too, man.